The Super Nintendo is home to the absolute best of the best when it comes to side-scrolling platformers. In this matchup, we have one of the finest, most absolute classics going against a bananas barrel-blasting adventure. Today, join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we find out which one of these absolute juggernauts moves forward in the tournament. It's Super Mario World versus Donkey Kong Country on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. We've made it to season two! Of uh, video oh, game yeah, fight club, two. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like it's like Netflix season two. We gotta pick it, us up. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> sure. That'd be great. <laughs> Netflix, call me. We can set something up. We can, we so can, we can season do one was mm -hmm. our NES tournament bracket, mm -hmm. and this we're just gonna go right down the line. Unfortunately, to the Super Nintendo. Oh. Quite possibly, not only is it a a great Nintendo console, this might be one of the best the best console consoles of all time. Ever made. The GOAT. There is so many great games. So in case you didn't know already, Oof. the way that we're going to rate these, we try to put them all kind of similar genres. It's inevitably, inevitably, yeah. you're going to have different genres. Go, yeah. But we tried to match we them We might up. have like a beat em up versus a fighting game. So or we'll have two RPG games like Zelda and Final Fantasy play. Oh, zoom ins. I forgot about <laughs> yeah, zoom ins. Yeah, zoom yeah it's been a so, I'm yeah, calling y'all out. Been a minute. I'm, I'm out of it. I did it. I said it. Come at me. Uh, don't just, just don't pick your nose, uh, Jarrett. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody, this is Jarrett. This is our new... Uh... So this is our very first episode of Season 2. Oh, this is a biggie. It's going to be Super Mario World... Oh, this hurts. ...versus Donkey Kong Country. Oh, gosh. These Get two games are... Both of these games quite possibly could be the first game I've ever played. So no, this, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so in case... Just a reminder for listeners or watchers... Uh, we are going to basically be writing these on like an actual analytical scale. Yeah, a list of scales. Like review yeah. them, but then we're also going to kind of compare them against each other. Which one stands the test of time? Which one's more revolutionary? Uh, we have a whole bunch of different factors. Which one represents the console the best? Right. What's the poster boy or girl for it? Exactly. Hold on. What is better? So that being said, <laughs> we, should, we should mention there's there's we we chose sixteen games. 16 Just like games. They in case you didn't watch the NES one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to try to explain that like in a like just kind of uh, just real quick video. Fact yeah, video. just basically we took 16 of what we thought were the best games with a variety of genres, yeah. right? Because right. if not, we could have put like three more RPGs on this list. We yeah. could have put Secret of Mana. We could have put Earthbound. We could have put Secret of Evermore. We could have put anything else. Mm -hmm. But we chose these for variety. Uh, to, to basically have re representation of a bunch of different genres, and then also which are the best games. Like, they're, and yeah, which one represents the Super Nintendo as a whole, but also is a great game that stands up. Yeah. And of course, Mario and Donkey Kong. They, I mean, they yeah. stand up these, easily. These are <sighs> probably juggernauts of the console. This this bracket makes me wish we had a loser's bracket because I know I mm -hmm. we're going to have to cut one of the best... one. Both these are the one of the best games of this console. There's just there's no way around this. And like looking, remembering what the bracket looks like. I know we're probably going to change a couple by the time this is recorded. Sure. But this is one of those hard. This is probably one of the hardest matchups. This I feel is, like. it is the hardest matchup. I think so. Let's start with the obvious, right? They're both side scrollers. Mm -hmm. They're both Nintendo mascots. You've got yep. Donkey Kong. You've got Mario. Just about everyone knows who both those characters are. Yeah. Uh, they're both going to be in the movie coming out pretty soon. That's, That's going right. to be great. <laughs> um, Seth Rogen is going to be Donkey Kong. Um, but also, one key factor I want to point out before we even get started analyzing it is that Super Mario World was a launch title, mm -hmm. whereas Donkey Kong Country yeah, came thank you. a fair time afterwards. Ooh. Right. Um, let's go down the list. Let's start with let's we'll start with the visuals. Yes, visuals. All right, that's kind of that's hard because Donkey Kong Country is one of those games that basically had like a. 3D, they rendered in 3D models yeah. and pixelated them and put them over, right? Yeah. And so I feel like it has a more unique look to it because it's just not sprite-based as a whole. Like, it's not yeah. just hand-drawn sprites. It's actual 3D. Like, every single thing in that game, including the numbers on the menus, everything was rendered in 3D and then compressed and put into that game, which is super unique. Well, that that was, and we, we mentioned this on our podcast before, but, like, that was the cool thing that Rare kind of got the money and they, they had this technology with this mm -hmm. chip, with the FX chip, yes. and, then, and then Nintendo's like, hey, you get you get to pick an IP. What do you want to pick? And they landed on Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Yeah, I mean, they studied um, monkeys and, and gorillas yeah. in, in the zoo yeah, to try to kind of animate them. So I think 
from an animation scale, Donkey Kong Country looks better. Yeah, it, as far yeah, as I mean, animation. Super Mario World is just it's it's got the Mario flavor. It's bright, it pops the all the words. There's a commercial for the Super Nintendo when it first came out, and they're, they're talking about Mario Super Mario World. They're mm. like, it has a little bit more color, a little bit more this, a little bit more yeah. that, and it really does do more justice of, of the console as far as displaying right. what colors it are available for it. Yeah. Whereas Donkey Kong, it kind of has its own set. I mean, you have different environments you go to, yeah. but it kind of has its own set of colors. Mm -hmm. Like, if you kind of set out the Pantones of every color in that game yeah. across, I think I think Mario World would have a wider variety, and it would be brighter. And mm -hmm. I could agree with that, but I'm going to be honest with you, man. There's just the way that Donkey Kong Country did it is just, it's so impressive for its time. Because... And just the way that everything looks in that game, it's like crisp, it's clear for a Super Nintendo game. It all, it, you know, like, it, I don't want to say it looks realistic because it's cartoon, but I mean, like... I mean, it kind of does. Some of those pre-rendered well, backgrounds. It's, that, three, it's that, 3D, that 3D chip that, that helped kind of make that yeah. 2D world look almost a little bit 3D. That, that exactly. as a kid, that blew my mind. Because me, I'm like, I love Mario. This game, this game is great. I got Donkey Kong later. I'm like... This is the future. This is what games yeah. will be moving forward. I mean, forward. I'll be honest, man. I, to me, personally, it just blows it out of the water. I think yeah. also uh, that, uh, speaking of, from a visual standpoint, they're just able to get a little bit more expressive with the characters, what they're able to do with their animations. Like, mm -hmm. if you leave Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong sitting around yeah. and he's <laughs> throwing his hat around yeah, or celebrating. Or, yeah. 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 Whereas with Mario, I mean, they were a lot more limited with, you know, like I said, it was, it was, it was, a, it was, it was a launch title. So, yeah. like, you can't blame it, but, you know, whenever you die, in Mario, you just kind of get that little, -da 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 -da. but then with Donkey Kong, like, they fall on the ground and like they yeah. scratch their head and stuff. Or you lose a mini game, and he throws his hat on the ground, yeah. and it stomps yeah. on. Oh yeah, Diddy Kong got a little temper tantrum. Yeah. Yeah. Diddy Kong's awesome. Though. He is awesome. Um, so I think from a visual standpoint, I mean, and yeah. also what, let me point out, I, I have one of my biggest gripes about Super Mario. I, I hate to sound like we're dogging on it. Okay. One of my biggest gripes about Super Mario World. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I might get blasted. Not my favorite sprite of Mario. You don't really? Not my favorite sprite of Mario. Mm. And also, would you say Peach? Dude, Peach looks weird in that game. Yeah, she looks weird in that. I don't game. even remember what Peach looks like. Would you She's say? Weird. Would, so I, I'm going off of that. Then, then would you say you liked three? NES three is your favorite sprite. So we can't talk about the 3D models. Uh, no, count. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I'm a big fan of like the. Because honestly, I'm on the opposite end. Because I think Super Mario. Hmm, well, I don't, here, know. I don't know. I think it looks better like if you're playing the version that came with Super Mario All Stars, where Luigi has an actual different. Oh yeah, he's, he's lanky yeah, and tall. Yeah, he actually yeah. looks different. But like, still, that Mario's not my favorite Mario. Sprite. I prefer the I prefer the way that he looks in All Stars in Mario Three. But that's just a per personal preference sure. here. That's fair. Um, but I, I I would like to say like I, I did some I did some replaying just to kind of get my nostalgia mm -hmm. back because sometimes we look through rose tinted glasses. Um, you know, there's memes that's like out there that says, "Hey, this is the Mario, this is the Mortal Kombat you think of 20 years ago, which is the original Mortal Kombat." Yeah, it's like it's all like, actually it's like like it's the one on 64. Like Deadly Alliance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Ooh, but, yeah, but, the piece does look kind of creepy. So she looked weird. So you're, she but yeah, weird. when you look through that lens, it's kind of hard. You need to kind of go back and refresh yourself. So, anyways, I went back. The, the backgrounds again can are really great. Like we said with Mario World, they're popping, they're bright, they're vibrant. Um, but like, it does get a little busy in Donkey Kong Country, but. Because of that, again, you're going back to that 3D chip that they were using, that technology, like the backgrounds are a lot more filled up. There's trees. Or how about, the, the, how about the, that the, one level in Donkey Kong Country where you, the tree top level. you get about halfway through the level and, and the sun starts setting. Setting and, down, and, and, right, and, right, yeah, right. I mean, I like at the very that. end. And you, you get a lot of really cool parallaxing effects too, like yeah. foreground, background collision. You have the rain, you have the snow, you have the, uh, at the, the, the end of the very first level, it, it goes dark. When you're running right? you you into the out. factory and the chains are in the foreground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's yeah. what I was trying to I, Yeah, about. I think. As far as audio, I have to just give the slight edge. You mean visuals? Visual, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't think slight at all. I think, I think. Donkey Kong Country blows it out the wall. You think so? I think I think it's close, but I think I also agree that Donkey Kong would look a, a little better if you, if I if I was pressed. If you had a gun in my head right now, I'd say Donkey Kong. Looks I think so. Oh, 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 the solid, oh God, Clay it, Brandon. Oh, this, the next you, category. Audio. Oh man. Uh, okay, this look, is tough. Look, I played last night. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I got to Coral Caverns, and just the wave, no pun intended, hit me, and I just aquatic ambience. <sighs> Okay. Such that song that, alone. There's there's tons of bangers on that both games. That song alone, in my but opinion. But that song alone. If you have a bad day, just go Dude, listen to that one. Mario has absolute classic with the. Um, Mario is very happy. 
But also, how about the fact that when you jump on Yoshi, it, 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 it adds that extra layer, cool. that extra layer of drums and percussion. Cool. Mm-hmm. And I and I really like that. But I mean, and, and if you take aquatic ambience out. They're equal. When you add aquatic ambience in, I go with Donkey Kong with the audio. I think. Mean, I mean, look. I mean the music. Funk, sorry. Funky's theme song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean the, the Gangplank, Gangplank Galleon. Galleon. Da, 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 Fear Factory. Yeah. You know what? That's just one. Blows it out of the water. <laughs> they're, they're, all really, they're all really. They're all really good. This is, I forgot about Gangplank Gallon. Gallon. That's that's the best song. The bonus game. music. Yeah. This is probably the toughest one, I think. No, 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 no. Oh, I think that's Comparing all of these, I think this is the toughest one. It's really not that tough for me, to be honest with you. Dude, Koji Kondo is one of the best composers Mm, of all time. Without a doubt. And this game... Without a doubt. This game had some great songs. I just feel... I do feel like you probably got some more of those, like, longer lasting... Like, it stuck with the... Like, I, I'm trying to think off the top of my head how much music from Super Mario World has continued yeah, through... the generations. Yeah. yeah. Um, Agreed. That's that's where I say it's the hardest one because it's just... the the All of them do it, but I think Donkey Kong Country's music, the way that they're composed for each different level, fits those worlds. The ice the ice levels. The cave level. Dun, dun, it's got that little bit of an echo where you hear... <laughs> It like it yeah. fits the emotion that goes. And I'm not saying that Mario World doesn't, but like I mean, I love when you. I'm gonna to be a... straight up honest right now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to say as much good I can about Mario because I've gone into this with yeah. the mindset that Donkey Kong has better it... music. I, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. I like... can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I, I can't pretend like it. I really can't. I mean, mm. I'm not saying that Mario's is bad. It's there's, great. There's Mario Super Mario World songs that I still hum to this day. I, I, the music is just iconic. Oh yeah, it's got great music, without a doubt. You see what I'm saying? It's really good. Donkey Kong just takes it to another level. It does. Super Nintendo. It does. We're talking about Super Nintendo here. I mean, when video game, what's the video game orchestra thing? Video games live. Yeah, when they come around, like that's the big one. Exactly. It's Donkey Kong Country. So, it's, it's is that what they finish it on? Is that what, is that the closer? Oh, I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. I have to give the slightest edge to Kong Country. We're just going to wrap this category up right here. I mean, I'm not even going to give it a slight. Again, but but hold, is music is one thing. Later. What about like audio, like the okay, actual so, like sound effects, uh, audio okay. design? I, I made points. Oh, I completely forget. I like. I agree. Yeah, the, the sound effects are iconic. Like hearing Yoshi for the first time, um, and that that sound has carried on throughout the throughout the generations. But like. I kind of like the sound of collecting bananas than I do like collecting coins. Yeah. You know, the, yeah, the sound does, of a, a, when you get a, when you get a bunch of copy. when you get a bunch of bananas at yeah. mm-hmm. or like whenever you get the Kong letters, it's like boom, 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 yeah, boom, yeah. and then you get the blue, yeah. Boom, yeah. Boom, yeah, or, or on good. guards, boom, boom, yeah. Yeah, every time he. But then there's all the things, you know, the, the sound of the cape when you spin around in Mario. That was the first time you experience the cape. So. Yes, I mean. Oh yeah, well, I guess we we need to go into mechanics. Ooh, this is where this is good. This mm-hmm. this is gonna be an all-out war. Oh god. Um, I think I feel like there was more mechanical stuff, especially if we're talking about Mario World and the castles, right? You had all the different kind of. Traversals. You had the fence level. You oh had yeah, you go in the back, back right. the foreground. Now, as far as what Mario could do, you know, there's a skill set there, and it's kind of limited. But like the stuff you could do with that. But I do feel like with Donkey Kong Country, you feel you do. Is it? Do you feel like you were just is a little more fast? Yeah, more, I think there's more definitely smooth than Mario. I think there's moving. there's a more of a sense of momentum with Donkey yeah, Kong thank Country. You. Yeah. yeah. With, than there is with Mario. And I think that's just the way that the levels are designed, too, where you can just sprint through them. Mm-hmm. Whereas Mario has more obstacles that kind of makes you stop, jump over things, kind of calculate and weigh your options. Whereas Donkey Kong is a little bit more frenetic and like just kind of pushing you forward really fast. Especially, of course, minecart levels. Yeah, yeah um, minecart madness. But like, I find that whenever it comes like to the speed running type uh, attributes that I have when I play games, I'm typically running through Donkey Kong a lot faster than I am uh, Mario. But that's not a bad thing. Yeah. No. Um, but even the water levels feel a little faster. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they do. I think, I think smoother. Yeah, I think Donkey Kong Country does have better water levels. I mean, we, we, we're not, we're not to take away to not to take away from Mario World. I mean, we just talked about it. they introduced Yoshi, right? So Yoshi comes in. I mean, there was Yoshi on like 
the, the Game Boy and the, the NES era kind of stuff. But this yeah. is the first time that he was a character that you could ride. You could you could suck in you know a flying Koopa, and now he's flying. You could suck him in a, a yeah. red shell. He shoots fire. I think Yoshi is a much more versatile animal friend than all the animal friends in Dog Kong Country. Right. Because as you got them, each one of them had their own the set of abilities. Yeah. Espresso? Espresso, yeah. Espresso. He's yeah. Cool. yeah, he can yeah. run through, but then like having unguard in the water is like invaluable oh yeah without a doubt but yeah. also some of those ki- some of those animal helpers will help you find all the bonus areas now that's one thing let, let's let's say one thing mario does better than dog kong country for sure is the bonus the hidden stuff in the game oh yeah, yeah. That's, I was, I was gonna because with that. donkey kong country it's so cryptic sometimes it's just like oh jump off this cliff and there was a barrel there's a hole there. down here yeah you yeah. just happen to throw this you get to where you want to throw barrels at, at rock I mean, faces it's yeah, a little, exactly. it's a, I feel like with Donkey Kong Country it was a little bit more of like you need the Nintendo power to get 100% completion mm-hmm. whereas or you Mario, have to have an insane amount of luck or with, yeah. with Mario World it was a little bit more in front of you and a little bit more well designed as far as how to get 100% yeah. of the value of the game yeah. right? exactly I remember as a kid the first time it's in um is it Donut Plains the second one I think it's Donut Plains uh, yeah, yes. Donut Plains. And there's the first time you get that key to open up that level and you go through the water pond. I went, wait a minute. That's, I just unlocked the shortcut. That's yeah. another thing, is that Mario had branching paths, whereas mm-hmm. with Donkey Kong Country, you do have a world map, but it's, it's one. It's linear. It's, it's to linear, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. One, one path and one path only. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So Mario does a that little is better one that thing way. Mario yeah. does better. Yeah. I think I, yeah, I think I think when we're talking about mechanics and the amount of stuff that Mario adds, I think they it just has the edge here. But I will say on a personal level, like Donkey Kong, at the end of the day, it just kind of feels better to play. Uh, yeah, I can agree. I think uh, Mario has way better boss fights. He does. Donkey yeah. Kong Country yeah. has jump, fir- dodge, jump on the head. The first Donkey Kong Country has some of the most. It's worse. I don't want to say worse. But Other than K. Rule, that's about the, it. Not only are the boss fights pretty basic and and really predictable and kind of boring, but they repeat. Hmm. So, like, you fight the yeah, beaver the thing twice. <laughs> like, yeah. You fight the vulture head twice. Then there's one boss fight. It's just a bucket that comes down. Like, it's mm. just a barrel, and it just slams the ground. All you gotta do is just let him keep slamming the ground. Like, it's not even really that much yeah. of a boss the bee. fight. Uh, the bee, yeah. And, and it does, the bee comes back, too, I believe. Mm. Yeah, I think so. So, every boss almost repeats itself, so that's kind of... And that's re- kind of why... Of them, really. and, and Mario has... You have all the Koopa kids. Each one of them is a different fight. You yeah. Know, Bowser fight's different. You got, like, these weird... Like, the Reznor, the rhinos, mm-hmm. and... Uh, yeah. You get all kinds of different boss fights in that game. That's all I was saying about the castle as I was bringing up for each different Koopa kid. Like, each one felt different. There was yeah. a different theme going on to yeah. get to the kid, so... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta give it to Mario with, if we're talking mechanics. Yeah, I agree. I can agree with that. Mm-hmm. I mean, the mechanics for Donkey Kong are very, very simple, other than the uh, other than the the dual the dual party approach, which is pretty unique for that time. That's cool. Period. Yeah, you can. Uh, I was gonna say, I like the out. idea of like picking up the barrels and taking them throughout the level, and, yeah, like, using it to check for stuff. But Mario does it better with oh, like picking things up and chucking them, Without and, and like uh, I think I, I misspoke on the NES bracket. With Mario 3, I, I was mistaken. You can't kick the turtle shells up. No. You, you can do that in Super Mario World. In you fact, can. that's how you have to fight Bowser in the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think well, That's basically how people speed run now. I yeah. think there's a, a way bigger variety uh, mm-hmm. when it comes to the mechanics in Mario. Than, mm-hmm. than it, and I think that's what yeah, makes it definitely. a slower game. Yeah. So I think Mario does have better mechanics as a whole. Yeah. yeah. I'd say so. Well, so moving on. what's uh, Do we want to talk about story? I forgot about story. Uh, story, okay. Bowser's still a princess. Go save her. It's Yoshi's Island. Hey, look. King, uh, not King K. Rule. I was about... Yeah, but King K. Rule. If you came agree... in and took took Kong's bananas. Well, not only Banana. that... Banana! Not only that, but in in Donkey Kong... In, in, Ooh. <laughs> in the manual for Donkey Kong Country, there's actually a kind of a backstory with yeah. King K. Rule coming in and stuffing Diddy Kong into a barrel, and that's yeah. why he's, he's in the barrel. He's in the barrel, and, you find uh, him, yeah. and he steals the banana. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like it's like a Saturday morning cartoon episode. Pretty much. But, um, I mean, they're both about... And somehow uh, they, they wound up building up industry on there, too, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Polluting DJI. Dude, those, they work fast. Yeah. King K. Rules gang, they work fast. What are you saying about capitalism, Nintendo? <laughs> I don't know. That's be Industry. Rare. King yeah, K. Rules said, we got profits to make! <laughs> <laughs> Man, he's polluting that island real yeah, quick. Yeah, he was. I kind of uh, feel I bad mean, for them Kremlins. I feel like they're exploited workers. <laughs> <laughs> that little sound effect. Ah! Yeah. I, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I think... Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the big boys, the big belly with the <laughs> uh, crushes. Oh uh, man! Uh, so as far as uh, I, stories, kind of, yeah. it's fun for yeah. Kong. Yeah. It's whatever, but I'd yeah. give it to Kong if you have had it. Yeah, them. I mean, most Mario games of that time period didn't really have much of a story other than ah, the princess, princess's cab. Okay. Here's here's a tough question: Which one of these was more revolutionary for the time? Uh, oh dang! I think... I gotta go with Donkey Kong in this one, man, because just the combination of the FX chip with the pre-rendered yeah. backgrounds, and then the um the, I, I, the, the, the I, co the, not co-op but the um the, the party system where it's you know DK has his advantages, Diddy has his advantages. There's certain enemies that both sides kind of stand up a little better to. Than and the you other. can swap out the fly single or do that exactly. with, with with a friend. So. Exactly, and so I just feel like well, that so, alone, we, we didn't even talk about that. Both these games, have, both these games have multiplayer. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, think I think Donkey Kong does a little better, man. It does. Donkey Kong. Well, does. it gives you more options. Yeah, you Donkey know? Kong gives you the opportunity to be able to have where you kind of co-op experience where somebody's Donkey Kong and that's Kong, fun. Diddy, which is fun, except when you're playing with Jacob. I was kidding. I was kidding. I don't know. <laughs> and, then, and then there's the classic competitive mode where it's like you have a, one yeah. person playing Donkey yeah. and Diddy A, and then one person playing Donkey and Diddy B. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. If you had to pick one, so you say Donkey Kong. I, I say Mario. Kong. I say I say Mario's more revolutionary because boy, not, it revolutionized. The not only did from it, three, yeah. Not only did it come in and show what the Super Nintendo could do, mm. like from a flat bottom line, right? Like Rare was able to come in and set the bar while they're doing it because Mario came in and was like, "Hey, here's first. here's what you, here's what the tools that you need. Yep. Take it and run with it." And I think if it wasn't for that, Donkey Kong Mario couldn't walks do it. So Donkey Kong and, then, run. and then also it was more revolutionary yeah. because it came day one with the Super Nintendo and it showed everything it could do mm. as far as all the different colors, all the different uh, new button combinations with the controller, uh, all basically what could the Super Nintendo do. That the NES could not. I, I was think gonna, that's more revolutionary. I was gonna go with Kong, but I, you make a good part. I have a point. I'm Excuse me, with Kong. I think I yeah yeah I have to agree, I'm man. And that, that going back and again thinking about everything that 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 game could do, and it was day one on Nintendo. It's kind of like you know it's kind of like almost like comparing it to um, uh, Astro Astrobot on. PlayStation 5, right? Yes. Like, this is what the system can do, and it's also a really fun game. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Well, that makes sense. Just personally for me, I find that, you know, uh, they're just doing a lot of new stuff, whereas no, Super yeah. Mario World, 100%. to me, kind of continues continues the whole platforming aspect of Mario, in mm -hmm. my opinion, and not a whole lot changed to me. I mean, they, they, they did have some minor changes, you know, like like the different paths that you could choose and stuff like that. Um but you kind of saw that in Mario Party, um, Mario Party, Mario Super, Super Mario Three, and then um, Super Mario World to me. And there's a reason, and I'm gonna use Super Mario Maker as an example, is that you can literally take what you did on Super Mario One, and you could pretty much switch it to switch it to each era, Super Mario Three. Oh uh, no, World. That, I would, I'm gonna throw that argument out because they reworked mechanics so you could have them all. Across the board, of right. Like but what I'm saying is, though, is that even except for the 3D yeah, one, yes, they did have to re because re they made a lot they made it to where right. you could have stuff in the NES version that was in the Super Nintendo. And version. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm not disagreeing with that wholeheartedly. But even if you use stuff that is consistently on the same things, like for example, let's say you build a Mario world that does not have anything that was reworked in it, you, you flip the different eras and it still works. And in my opinion, I don't think that's all that revolutionary. That's just my opinion, you know? To a certain degree, I think you're right. But, but I mean, um, but I do want to bring up, go back to story for a second, because I think it's worth mentioning that Donkey Kong Country also had backstories for their characters, too. Uh, like, you know, uh, Cranky Kong is the original Donkey Kong that went head-to-head -head with Mario, and then you have Donkey Kong, uh, Candy Kong, and, and, really, and I, I mean, felt like all the different enemies have some some small backstories too. Like they had that one Trader Kong. What was his name? The one that threw Manky the back Kong. barrels at you. Manky Kong. Manky Kong. Oh, I, I don't know the Kong lineage. Yeah. That, that's that's a whole another podcast for another day. But we got to move on. Yeah. yeah. Which um, one of these stands the test time? I think that's about even. even. Tie. I cannot. Dead tie. I have this, you're not gonna be able to convince me one stands better than the other. I'm sorry. You just can't do and it. Which one represents the console? I think I have to say Super Mario World. I yeah, mean, dude, they just put too. out a Hallmark uh, a Hallmark Christmas ornament, yeah. and you can only pick one cartridge to be right there in the Super Nintendo. It's going to be that cover art. I mean, yeah. It's got to be yeah. Mario. Yeah. I'm just saying. I mean, not only that, but, I mean, Super Mario World was, like, 
one of the biggest bundles for the Super Nintendo. I mean, that in and of itself shows how how I actually got it Mario Kart one. Iconic. Did you? Ooh. I didn't even know. See, I didn't from, know that from was Sears. Event. Now Sears. I do think that they do have some Donkey Kong. Is still Sears? I don't know. Did Sears go bankrupt? Yeah, Sears gone. They, they went, they went the way of the dinosaur. Ooh. Anyway, but anyway, sorry. yeah. But um, you know, and I'm sure they had some bundles with Donkey Kong Country too. But the iconic Super Nintendo bundle to me was always yeah. Super Nintendo, Super Mario World. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Great. All right, we got to vote. We're running out of time, guys. We're running long. Uh, I'll go first. I'm just gonna do, pull the bandit off. Donkey Kong Country. Oh god, that hurts. Donkey Kong Country. I have to go with can it. I, can I go next? Mm -hmm. Can I go next? Oh no. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Mm. I didn't mean to like make the throw I had sound something... like I'm, I'm, it just hurts to do this. It I've had something that I've said for a very long time and I'm going to say it on record right here. You ready? Got it. If Super Mario World, or Super Mario in general, is classic Coke, and Sonic the Hedgehog is Pepsi. Pepsi. It's cool. It's a lot cooler to like Pepsi. Yeah. But classic Coke just is just it. you can't beat it. Mm -hmm. Donkey Kong Country is old country time root beer. There's nothing quite like it. Stop the pepper form, guys. There's nothing quite like it. It's kind of doing its own thing. It's got its own flavor. Uh -huh. I, my vote's for Donkey Kong Country. I don't like saying it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I don't like saying it. But man, I got to... Man, oh, it's just... It, it hurts, hurts, doesn't it? It does. It Frick. does. I don't and like this. I'm going to go with the clean sweep, and we're just going to make it a dead even oh, unanimous. That's okay. I'll go with Donkey Kong Country. That's kind of and, right. And, and look. I thought you were going. I'll be honest with you. When I came, when, when <laughs> I sat down and I thought these over. I'm start you crying, know, man. When I thought these over, <laughs> I knew Donkey Kong was going to win. And yeah, it did come out to be a lot closer than I imagined. Wow. But man, you really can't go... I mean, I, I I feel bad. I feel like I'm I'm cheating on a spouse here when I do this. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere in Japan, There's Shigeru Miyamoto's eating. He just went. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> what is this? Who did that? Miyamoto-san, are you okay? And he's like, there's a disturbance. There's a disturbance. All right. Uh, well, that's, that's it. The winner, Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country. That was bananas. Donkey Kong Country moves forward as our winner. Is this a rare occurrence or will it make it to the finals? Find out by subscribing and don't forget to leave us a like and comment on how stupid we are. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.